Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is an adult colouring and hobbies channel. Um, it's not intended for or aimed at children. We discuss adult content on this channel and adult issues. <coughs> so, just putting that out there. So today we're going to have a look at the WH Smith 48 colouring coloured pencils. So I bought these a while back because I thought, I wonder what they're like. I've got the watercolours and I really like them, so I thought I would buy. I bought these at the same time and I thought that they were something like $8.99 or $7.99, something like that. And that was half price, which is really good. They're usually around £17. So On it they say, high quality smooth leads for dry mixing and blending, suitable for a variety of services. There's nothing else on here. Um, just says some colours may stain and things like that. Work each pencil in a new direction, which we know. But it doesn't actually say the colour names or numbers. There aren't any. So I have actually swatched them. And I'll show you that in a minute. But there are two trays and I'm going to knock them all about. So there are two trays of 24. And to be fair, there's a fairly good section of colours, which is a good selection of blues and some reds, there's some more reds at the end here that you can't see, and oranges and yellows. So there's a couple of flesh tones just about here. Um, in order to swatch them, I've actually put a number on it myself in black sharpie, so that I can look at my swatch and see, oh I want number 8, I want number 7, I want 15, um, and so I'll show you the swatch. So I'll just pop those up there for now. So here is the swatch page, I'll just zoom it in. So as you can see they're quite vibrant. Some of them go on better than others. So here's your flesh, fleshy tones, 12, 13 and 14, and your colours. Goes over to there. So I thought we would use a colour in Heaven book and we'll use the Alice Special. And we'll colour in one of the pictures in the Alice Special. And we'll start it and we'll see what we think. So I've picked this picture by Fabiana Atanasio because I think it's quite fun and there's a few different things that we can do on it. So we've got we've got Alice, we've got the watch, we've got a teapot, so on, we've got keys, locks, books, shelves, all sorts of different things going on. So we're just going to zoom in and we'll start with Alice herself. Now I have not used these pencils at all. Well there's my other one. Let's see. Um so I don't know what they're going to be like, um, other than swatching them, I haven't used them. So I've got my eraser, I've got my sharpener, I'm just going to give them a sharp, sharp, and they are sharp, but I like a bit of a better point on them, so I'm just going to do that, put that over there. And we're going to start with Alice, and we'll start with her face and arms, and we'll do her legs as well, we'll do all of the the skin first just to see so this is I've got this down as number 12 and it is a, a very very fleshy color so so at the moment they're quite I think they're quite a hard pencil because this I'm putting on a bit of pressure it's not a, it's not I'm not pushing hard but I'm not it's not light it's sort of mid mid pressure Now I know that John from the Bibliophile Colorist has got this, somebody sent them to him and he, he likes them. And they do give good coverage, this is given a nice nice coverage. But I think they are, they're certainly, if you're used to something like Prismacolors, they're certainly a lot harder. But uh, it's going on, it's going down quite nicely. And what we'll do in a minute is we'll get another flesh and we'll just put a bit of definition in and blend it to see how it blends. So I don't know how long this video is going to be because I do want to use different colours so we can see how the different pigments work and act because sometimes certain pigments especially purples and blues can be quite scratchy. But certainly this sort of fleshy colour I've got is going very very nice. I like the way her eyebrow is up in her hair here. <laughs> it's like Penfold from the original Danger Mouse series. His eyebrows are always up like that. So like I said, I'm, I'm, I bought this book. I'm not the world's biggest Alice fan. But I do like Fabiana Atanasio's artwork. And I do like 
the Charleston Tory, and of course you've got Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. Now, I, I always find her, her girls beautiful but freaky because they're big heads. Um, but some of the pictures that are in here from hers are really, really gorgeous. So I will probably get a Jasmine Beckett Griffiths book at some point. But there's just so many books I want at the moment. I can't justify buying any more. I've got over 150 colouring books. And I haven't used half of them, I think. I would I would say so. A lot of my colouring heaven books I haven't coloured in. I pick them up thinking, oh, I like that. And then I don't do anything in it. So, so yeah, the, the this flesh colour has gone down quite nicely. But I am having to use a bit a harder pressure than I would normally. So, we'll use... This is a... So very pink and we've got a bit more of a beige as well. I'm just going to find my piece of paper I was using the other day. And I can't. So I'm going to use the inside of the box. That's quite nice. And so is that one. Oh yeah, that's a bit more. I'm going to sharpen them both up. <coughs> Excuse me. They're numbered, so I know which order they go back in. So there we go. So we're just going to go over this now with another colour, just to see. We're going to use number, I've got it down as number 13. Yeah, 13. Which is kind of like a beige. And again, I'm having to put a bit of pressure down, because I've already had to put some pressure on it to get the original colour on. But it's not too bad. It's going on. And I like the way it's not... Because it's not so soft as something like Prismacolors, it's going on, and it's going on really well, but it's not as, say, dark as if you were putting down some Prismacolor or Polychromos, because it is quite hard to get the colour off, because it, you need to push a bit harder. So for something like this, if you, you're not very good, like me, I'm not very good at this, this uh, shading and blending like I never know where to put the light source <coughs> excuse me it's really good so it's giving a bit of definition without being too dark so we'll just come in here and put her here but yeah they are a harder pencil but still as you can see It's going on all right. I hope you can see now that we're getting a bit of definition in there. I'll just put a bit down her legs as well, which are down here. Now, I mean, they're not going to replace the polys or the prismas as my favourite, but as a cheaper alternative for maybe travelling with. I think they're going to be okay. I've just got to change my battery again. Okay, change the batteries. It always happens as soon as I start colouring. The battery goes. I should just change the battery before I um, start colouring, shouldn't I, really? So again, we're using another pink now, just to give it a little bit more of a pinkish, pinkish tone. As you can see, I'm putting on a fair bit of pressure to get anything. So they are very, very hard. And I don't know what the Crayolas are like. I haven't used Crayola other than crayons with Jennifer in years, so... I will be probably getting some at some point, because Jennifer can always have them. And um, I, want to, I do want to try the Arteza pencils as well because I've heard good things. So, but I need to complete my set of Black Widows first. The skin tones. I need the dark tones. So it's not too bad actually with this. So. 
I think that looks quite good. Like I said, I'm not a professional artist and I'm hopeless at drawing. My brothers, now they are brilliant drawers. This isn't a camera in chat, I just thought I'd tell you that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to go back in with this one again because there is no other brown that's anywhere near the right colour. Just to give her hand a bit of definition here on the crease. There we go. And I've had to put that down quite hard. And I'll just blend that in. Now, unlike the other night, I have actually found my blending pencil. <laughs> I need to get another pack of these because obviously one disappeared when we were on holiday. It rolled off the patio, the terrace, and went down to one of the. I haven't done it this yet. Um, on the balcony below, a couple of floors below, which was not good. Not really. It's annoying because although it was very small, it did have some life in it, yeah. So I'm quite happy with where the skin tones are working. I mean, on a full face picture where you've got a lot more area to work, we'd be able to see better, but it looks all right. We'll just get um, a pinky color here, this one here. Like I said, they haven't got names, just to do it in her mouth. Again, I have to put down a fair bit of pressure to get anything out on it. And it's not because, uh, it, and it is because they are quite hard toned. So we want pale blue now for her dress. We're going for traditional colours for Alice. Now, there it is. I want to give it a, a sharpen. Okay, and we'll have a quick look at this. Now, I'm not really going to be, uh, get this filmed. It's, it's going to take a, a long time to film properly, so... I'm just going to come in here now. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not too scratchy. It feels quite nice. It's going down. I'm using very light pressure, fairly light pressure on this. Not as hard as I was with the pinks or with the flesh tones. So that's good. And it's given a good even coverage, to be honest, even without having to go in different directions, which I will. The way this is coming out actually oh it's gone off the page again there we are and we're out of focus i need to be better at this i am sorry but yeah i mean that's just two fairly lightly put down layers and it's covered quite nicely there is a bit of streaking but i'm gonna blend it and <clears throat> excuse me do all the the other other good stuff on it later I don't know how long this video is going to be. Yeah, the blue is going on really nice. I'm just going to write the number on here, it's 27. I'm just going to write 27 very lightly. I don't want to spend an hour colouring it all for you. I want to do bits. So what I will do is get a bit of paper and write down what numbers I'm using for what, I think. I think that's probably the best thing to do. And I'll do some of it off camera as well. So let's have a look. Alice dress number 27 light. Okay. And what I'll do is I will just put a bit of a darker blue now. Which is number 
26 just so that I can come back and do them finish it off later oh that blue goes on very nicely it's very very easy now I'm just doing this on the creases on her dresses for a minute and up here but I'm also going to do this darker this bigger area with the hearts in this color so we'll have a proper look at it in a minute obviously I won't do whoops all of it so this actually feels a lot softer than the pink this blue so let's see how this one goes So um, this is, for me, a fairly light pressure. I mean, if I was holding it up here to, to the, this is how people say to do light pressure. I can't control it. So um, and as you can see, it's pretty much the same as what I was doing by holding it down the bottom. Maybe a bit lighter, but I have to hold it here to get into the little gaps. But this is going, again, it's going on very smoothly. Very nicely. very very nicely I think we'll go over it like that as well just so I actually like these pencils I am actually going to say that they are very very nice and um, I don't know if you can get these shipped to the US. Um, these are a British brand. W. H. Smith is a British news agent and this is their in-house brand of coloured pencils. So it may, it may well be that you can't and unless you know somebody in the UK who can possibly um, package you up a set like John did and get them sent to you. I'd be wary of sending them through the post to be honest just simply because of the leads getting damaged but John's got to him alright I guess if you wrap them up really well they should be alright but this blue is going down really really nice so I am just making a note of which colours I'm using because what I'll do is I will do some of this off camera and then at the end of the video show you it completed now I will do the whole page in just the WH Smith now I have gone over the lines a bit there but I'll get my glue and eraser just to get them out of those little bits and I can go over it that's fine so yes it is looking a bit streaky at the moment but like I said I will I haven't finished it this is just to show you how they go down and they do go down very well and I will cross it over and hash it the other way. So that's another blue. So again, what I'll do is I'll get a deeper blue again from the first set. And it'll be this one. And this is number 23. Like I said, I've just literally numbered them based on the order they are in the box yeah that's quite nice it blends lovely it is looking quite good like I said I'm not going to do it all now I'm just I'll do it later I'm just having a go like this that's it so that looks like that. that's quite good so 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 far um all the pencils are working really really well so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do this um vase and I'm going to do it in one of the purples because I know purple can be one of those colours that can be quite scratchy so I'm just having a look at the purples I've got to decide what colours I want right so it'll be that one that one and that one quick sharpen they sharpen quite nicely they do feel quite good in the hand to be honest um I know so it's light in the hand they are very light these pencils are very very light so <clears throat> we're going to do this vase purple 
because I want to see how it feels. It's not particularly scratchy. It is a bit scratchier than the others, but it's not horrendously so that you think, oh my God, this is horrible to use. It's going on nicely. Look at that, very, very nice coverage. So I'm very pleased with these. These these ones I will probably get a little case for. And these will be my travel set rather than the Black Widows because the Black Widow set is growing. They're getting bigger every year. They're putting out new colours. <coughs> and I really like them and they do work really well in the Colour in Heaven books. But so far, I think these are working very well as well. This one's a bit scratchier again because it's a slightly deeper colour. But again, not so much that you think, oh, I can't cope with this. There is some dust. But not so much that it's unbearable. Now, that purple back out that I was using, isn't that this one? Okay. This one's very nice. This is number 20. I think I put them back in the wrong order. Yeah, yeah, I've put them in the wrong order. That's fine. Let's put that there. There we go. But yeah, I, I do like them. These are very nice pencils. They are got good coverage. So yeah, I will put a link to them down below, but like I said, if you're out of the UK, you may find it hard to get hold of them unless you can get somebody to um, send them to you. Okay, so that looks fine. I'm going to do this background a couple greeny yellow, but obviously I need to do Alice's hair. Now generally Alice is a blonde, not always. But um, I've got a couple of yellows here. We'll do her hair. And then I think we might do the, some browns and some greens. Um, and then we just have the reds to do. To, so then we've done the whole colour palette, all the different kinds of colours. So let's get her hair back here. We're just going to give it a light covering of number 38, I think it is. So it's sort of a very light yellow. Look at it, it's still going on beautifully. And I'm not hardly, I'm hardly putting much pressure on and it's going on very, very nice. So it seems to me that the, the skin tones were the ones that needed the most pressure. But the rest of them seem to be quite good. I can't guarantee that's gonna stay that way because like I said, we haven't used the greens and I haven't done any years either, but I'll do those afterwards when, uh, uh, when I'm not on camera. So we're just going to colour her hair like this. So this is a video I've been meaning to do for a while and I've just kept putting it off and putting it off and I was thinking what book shall I use and I thought do you know what Alice will have a good range of colours in each picture because it's fantasy so I thought I'll get Alice and I'll do it like I said it's not my favourite story it's a good story I don't mind the book but I'm not one of those people who say oh it's Alice in Wonderland I love Alice in Wonderland it's my favourite thing I've got to have it I mean I much prefer The Wizard of Oz as a story and that's just me. I also like um, The Chronicles of Narnia. But even out of that, my favourite out of The Chronicles of Narnia books is the, the, the prequel, which was um, written afterwards, which is The Magician's Nephew. I much prefer that to the rest of the uh, box set. Very fond memories of that book. We'll talk about books in another episode of Colour and Chat. So yes, Wizard of Oz is my favourite, but uh, Alice is all right. I will read Alice to Jennifer one day when she's older but yeah the yellow is going down very nice on her hair I have got another I'm still going over the 
bit where there shouldn't be any. Oh, I'll have to take that out again later. So yeah, that's looking all right. It's going on quite nicely, as you can see. And with the hair, I'm not worried about any gaps because I'm obviously going to go in with another yellow, which is a, dark, a deeper yellow, um, to give it a bit of definition and a bit more colour. And there's another darker colour I can use, which isn't blonde, but it's sort of a beigey yellow, which might look quite nice for even more definition and tone on her hair. Again, this is going on very nicely. It's easy to use. I'm using a bit more pressure because obviously I'm putting another layer on. Not a full layer. It's not covering all of the yellow, just bits of it. But yeah, this is going on lovely. I think it is actually. It's going on very, very nice. So there may be a few things I might put some gel pens on, like for instance the key and the lock and then again I might not. I might just do it as is. You know, it really depends on how I feel. Uh, as I go through, there'll be the, the, the final details, there'll be the last things I do. That's looking okay so far. And then there's just this sort of beigey colour. I'm just gonna put a bit more darkness in it because uh, blondes aren't completely blonde. Excuse me. So, yeah, that's fine. This paper I've, I've been writing the dress colours on is, uh, I'm using this now as a, a colour tester as well. So this is a bit of a, a darker colour, as you can see. Just to try and get a bit more into it. I am enjoying this though. Here now. So, so far I'm really liking these. They go on well, they're blending well for a budget pencil. Yeah, they are very nice actually. I will definitely be using these again. Like I said, I'll get a pencil case for them and they will become my traveling set. Like last summer when we went on holiday, I took my Prisma colors. Um, when we go on holiday in the summer for my birthday, um, I took my Prisma colors last year and I took my Black Widows when we went abroad. Now we probably won't be going abroad today because like I said, this year, but um, I'm thinking I could totally see me taking these pencils in a case on holiday there's enough colors here for in this set for me to do what i want same as you know the 24 set of faber castell is a little bit limited the gold fiber but i do really want to get the 48 set at some point but it's not a priority right now for me i've got to get the the skin tones for the black widows the dark tones but These are going on really well. That looks lovely. I really like her hair. I like the way I've done it. I am really chuffed with that. Usually hair is one of my least favourite things to do. I'm not very good at doing the shine and everything, but I think just getting a little bit of different colours on the blonde just made it look pretty good. There we go. So that's her hair. Right, I like that. I'll go over it with a blender later. So, I think next I might do up here in a second. Okay, so now we're going to do the grass here and the brown. So, we're going to try some of the greens and browns. So, we've got something like four browns here five, six, seven, and eight. Um, a reddish brown here, we'll try that one first. 
I'll just give it a quick sharpen. So, so far, I do like the way that these are going down on paper. So let's see how this is. This is a little bit harder. The brown, it's not as easy to get on as the other colours have been. I did say that the, the skin I had to push quite hard as well. It's not too bad, but as you can see, I've put in a medium pressure and it's not very dark, but then I don't expect it because it is a lighter brown anyway. I'm just gonna do this. So like I said, I, with her dress, I'll finish that off off camera at some point and then I'll show it you at the end the completed picture. So I'm going to go for a dark brown now. There. But yeah this is a really nice book this Alice but I'm not big on Alice myself. I'm not a big Alice in Wonderland fan but I do like Fabiana Atanasio's work. I wish Keller in Heaven would do a Wizard of Oz one. Because I would love to see more Wizard of Oz colouring books. Because Oz is my favourite. I mean, you, you do get them. I mean, obviously, there's an Oz picture in... Um, Kelly Horton's book and there's one in Hanlin's Fairy Tale Princesses and then Good Wives and Warriors they did a, 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 a Oz book as well I think Lacey Sunshine did one I think I think it was either that or the other one I can't remember there's one here I've got one I've got a couple of Oz books upstairs and they're really great I really like them but I, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm afraid to colour in them. Because I love all so much, I'm so afraid of... Oh, I snapped that. That was my fault. Pushed too hard. It's also on the bend up here. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I would like more Oz books because I am a huge Oz fan. I'm a huge Judy Garland fan, that's why. I love her. Judy's films and music. And I have for a very long time. But you know me, I do love my old Hollywood stuff. Anyway, that's just me. I wish they had an Oz one. So yeah, this is actually going on alright. It looks a bit better now. I'm just going to do a bit up here just to... Yeah, not too bad. I don't think it's brilliant, but let's see if the uh, blending pencil will work. If I can find it, because I actually left it on the table, and now I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. I got it. Now I found the Black Widows blended really well in this in this on this paper because I used them a lot on holiday in October when I was doing the Halloween special. Yeah, that blends quite nicely, actually. How's that looking? Yeah, that looks a lot better. Like I said, I don't profess to be the best colourist. I'm barely average, but I do enjoy colouring. I'm just taking the brown off of that. Um, let's do some green. Okay. So here's a bright green first, and then we'll go over it with one of the darkest... There's a good few greens in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One's a bluey green, but there's a good good set of um, greens in here. So that's good. It's always nice to have a good set of greens. So we're just going to do this uh, this grass bit here. We'll do all of the grass for now, and then we'll um, go over it in different colours. So this actually looks quite blue, but it's a very bright... So you can't really trust the ends because look how green that is. 
You can barely see the green on here. Now that's putting down a fairly medium pressure, I would say. It's going on nicely though. There are some other greens I'm going to use as well, so. Coverage is nice. The coverage is very nice. I'm looking at this and I'm not looking at it through the camera. I always think things look patchy through the camera because of the lighting. But just look at this. Yes, I am going over it a few times to make sure it's evenly covered and that you can't see that much white and you can't it there is some there obviously there's always going to be but it looks rather nice so we're going to take a, a darker green now we'll take the dark green that's not turn into blue that's the darkest proper green give it a bit of a sharpen and we'll have a look so we're just going to go over this bit here you can't see Good job I looked. coming down to use the bathroom and he might because our bathroom's downstairs he hasn't as of yet and it's chat time right it's three minutes past 11 so I will be having to stop soon and starting again on this one another day I don't really want to stop because I'm really enjoying this and I'm going to get a lighter green again now so you might be able to tell this isn't being filmed all in one session. Um, I'm doing this in parts when I get a chance to do it. Um, but what I do want to say is so far, I am very, very pleased with the way these colours are going down. They are beautiful. And for a budget pencil, you could not want more. Um, could they have put more colours in? Yes, of course. There's always the options for more colours. But for... Um, if you're on a budget and you don't have a lot of money, if you wait till they're on sale, you'll probably get these for around eight pound, like I did. Um, if not, I think you'd be paying around 18. Um, could you get cheaper pencils out there? Yes, absolutely, of course you can. Um, are these good? No. I've got the Marco Ruffines and I really like those and I think they were 18 pound for 70, something like that. Anyway, there was more, they were around the same price as these, I, th I think. I can't remember, I'd have to look it up. Um, but they're a lot harder than Marco Ruffines. And while I do like using them and I've done some good work with them, I would, I prefer these. I will use the Marco Ruffines again. But I actually prefer um, these uh, W.H. Smith ones. I think they're very, very good value for money at the moment. So, And I know other people do like them. Like I said, John, the Bibliophile Colourist, he's got them because uh, one of his viewers uh, posted them to him and sent them to him in America. And um, obviously I'm lucky enough to live in the UK. So if worse came to the worst and I ran out, I don't even need to order them from WH Smith's website. I could probably pop into my nearest branch, which is town, Newport or Cardiff, and pick up a set if I wanted to. And I will, as soon as I, I mean, if I'm using these, on holiday and I will be taking these on holiday in the summer when we go away um, if we use if I'm using these that they will get used they will get used a lot I will take them I'll get a pencil case for them and I'll I'll use them and then as they start getting lower shorter and shorter I'll, I'll buy another set and then I'll put 
the set, the ones that are really short, I will put those in uh, again. I'll put them in the because I'll probably end up getting a 50 or a 72 thing, but I'll I will make sure that I put the ones I use the most of in them. So I'm just do part of this gramophone now with this colour. I haven't done any red yet, so I'll do some red in a minute. So there's not a lot of space where you can do red, I don't think. Oh, it's kind of a sand colour, this is. It's really nice. As you see, I'm really not doing that much um, with them. I'm not making sure it's 100% done because I'm coming back in now with this brown just to give it a bit more definition, I guess. That's what you call it. And also to colour on the inside because the inside would be darker. I'm really, really enjoying these pencils. They are looking good. And like I said, I've numbered them all because they don't have colour names and they don't have colour numbers. So I literally just took a black Sharpie and I've gone over them all. And I've written towards the bottom a number. It corresponds to where they are in the box, which is fine. I'm quite happy with the way that they're laid out. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I'm, I'm pleased. So I'm just going to take the edge off of that. Take the green off. But they blend very nicely. The Prismacolor blending pencil, which I'm using, is working lovely on them. It's moving it around. I guess it, it's, it looks quite good. So that looks quite nice. I need to find something I can do red, really. Because no real big space of red. What I think I might do is I'll do this book red. I think the pages, obviously, I won't. But the book, I think I'm going to do red. Now, I've got a very ready pink here. Let's have a quick look at it. But to me, that's too light. So that's fine. It's a nice red. But I want a darker red go into the darkest so that's a nice color of course I'll be using a lot of the reds on the hearts as well so I'm just going to color the book in completely in this red pretty much completely like so oh we're going out of focus for some reason I'm not sure why there we go that's better again it's very smooth going down I'm putting on a medium pressure because I do want it to colour nicely. It's very smooth. I'm, I'm not gonna like it. these are very nice colours. The way the way it goes down is lovely. Look at that. They layer on top of each other. Very nice. I've left that little band in the middle because that'll be sort of um, probably a gold, yellowish colour. And I'm completely out of focus. I don't know why I keep doing this. Now, you can see that there is some gapping in between. And I'm just going to go like this. And as you can see, I haven't finished her dress yet. I haven't had a chance to do that. I keep thinking, oh, I'll go and do Alice's dress now while I'm doing this. And then something will happen and I can't do it. And I'm like, oh, really? I really need to do this dress. Otherwise, I'm never going to get the picture finished. But yeah, the reds go on lovely as well. They're not, they're not scratchy at all. Um, the purple certainly wasn't scratchy. So I'm pleased with that. I'm just going to put a little bit of dark around the edge. And in that bit. And there. Like so. 
blending pencil just to try and get rid of some of those white marks. It's fine. I love colouring. So I'm going to say I really like these pencils. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the background or even uh, much of else to be honest. I'm really not sure because it's, it's such a in-depth picture. I've got an idea what I want to do for the background. That's going to take some work. So I'm just going to do the pages. I'm going to do, use this grey. Grey is a bit scratchy, but not so bad. I mean, now I've now I've worn the point off a bit. It's not bad at all. There we go. Yeah. So I'm yeah I'm going to finish doing the others, and then I'm going to try and do a blend. So I'm going to start it as green, going to yellow, to orange, to red, to purple possibly to blue, depending on how much I get, all the way through. So I might show you that because it'd be interesting to see if I start with ye a yellow up here and then the green and then the, uh, uh, sorry, start with green, and then go to yellow, then go to orange, then go to red and then to purple and blue, um, how it covers itself. So I'll be doing that soon, but I'll probably do the rest of the picture first. Um, I think, I don't know. So, we're going to use this sort of sandy colour again on this sort of scroll thing. I love this colour. I think this colour is fantastic. It's yellow, but it's not a bright yellow. It's a very mute yellow, which looks great for discoloured parchments and things like that. It looks brighter on camera than it actually is, but it is a lovely colour. I'm going to say I really, I rate these pencils quite well, quite a lot. I mean, obviously they're never going to be as good as something like Prismacolors or Polychromos or if you've got the Caran Dash Luminance, something like that. They're not because they're budget. They are budget friendly. They are for people who can't afford that. I've got Prismacolors. I got them in the sale. I got Polychromos. I got them in the sale and I had a bonus um, for, for one of the two sets of pencils. I'm not sure which now. Um, so this is how this is looking so far. We haven't done too much yet. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away. I'm going to colour in all these bits and pieces and the rest of her dress and this and these little rocks and bits in here. And then I'm going to come back and we'll do a straight blend from green, yellow, orange, red, purple and then to blue uh, across the interior of the rabbit hole. So it looks quite magical. So I'm going to go away and do all this and then I'm going to come back and do that. So the next clip, be seeing me do that. Okay, so I am now back with the end of the uh, W. H. Smith's pencils. I have now finished my picture in Alice and I will just find it for you. Here it is. So this was completely done with these pencils. These are the 48 W. H. Smith's colouring pencil set. It says for dry blending and mixing high quality smooth lead suitable for a variety of surfaces. And uh, doesn't tell me whether they're wax. I would say they're probably wax. Yeah. But they are very nice. So let's just take a quick look at the picture. So the colours went on very nicely. Um, I did have a bit of trouble blending it, but as you can see, this, these two greens blended quite well in together and the yellow started to. Um, but then I left it, and I think because I left it, the rest of it wasn't as good. And I also can't find my blending pencil. So I'm going to order some more of those as soon as I get paid, um, the Prismacolor ones. But all in all, I'm going to say that I do like these pencils. They're certainly worth the $14.99 that they retail at. Now, I paid... $7.99 for mine in the sale. So you can get them in the sale. I will leave a link to the W. H. Smith website down below where you should be able to get a, a set of these. The only thing I will say is I didn't have much breakage problem, but I did have some with this one. 
Uh, this is just a red. Like I said, they don't really have num um, colour numbers or names on them. I put a number on it so I know where which one it was in the swatch. Um, that one kept breaking, as you can see, and I think this blue one kept breaking as well. And they were the only two I had problems with. But, again, but because the pencils are so cheap, it, it's not so bad. I wouldn't mind, I would quite happily buy another set, and then when that one uh, runs out or gets even lower, happily just replace it. I will be getting a um, pencil case for these, and which will bring me on to what I plan on using them for. So what I plan to do is, they're not going to replace my Prisma Colors or my Polychromos or even my Black Widows, which are my three favourite sets along with, I do love my Colour Softs as well, so. However, as they're a cheaper brand that do work very well, I am going to be taking these ones on holiday whenever I go away. So for instance, in June, I'm going away for a week on holiday to Tenby. I normally take a colouring book on holiday with me and some pencils. I usually take my Prisma colours, which are in a massive case. What I will do is get a small case for these. More than 48, um, maybe a 72, because what I plan on doing is complementing them with a few colours that aren't in here. So um, although there are some pale pinks and peaches, I will put in my favourite combination of flesh tones from the Prisma Colour set and the Polychroma set in there. Along with um, cream, there's no cream, there is a white, but there isn't a cream, and I do like cream, especially if I'm doing moons. So my plan is to take these on holiday and then just complement the set with a few other pencils of colours that aren't that are missing, so for instance the creams, more of the skin tones and so on. And I might show you what I do when I actually do that. But overall, I do think they are worth the price. They're definitely worth the $14.99. I think that's how much they are, it's around that anyway. Um, they're very nice pencils to use. They're nice and hard, they're not hard, so I, that's why I think they're wax. They're quite a soft lead. I really like the way that Alice turned out with her different coloured background of her I just wanted to, rather than make it all dark and brown, because she's in a hole, the rabbit hole, I wanted to make it all different colours, so it's magical. She's falling into a magical world with all her bits and pieces. And I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. So all in all, I can recommend these pencils. Obviously, they're not like Prismacolors and they're not like Polychromos. They are a bu very budget brand, they are budget but they are worth buying. If you can't afford Prismacolors and you can't afford Polychromos, and I know how expensive they are, um, even the sets of Black Widows, which are now up to 72, 84, 96, if you want the whole set of them, can be quite expensive to get because they work out, I think they're 12 pounds a set, something along those lines anyway. Um, so to get them all, yes, you've got 96 colors, but they're very expensive. What you can do is buy these for less than 20 and then maybe buy some open stock Prismas or Polychromos just to complement it with the colours that aren't there such as, or even the colour softs, uh, the creams and the flesh tones. And that's what I'm going to do when I go on holiday. I'm going to pack a couple of books and take these pencils along with a few colours that aren't included in the set. So that's it for this review, definitely recommend them. I will leave a link below. I don't think they ship to the States. They are a British company, WH Smith is a news agent over here. Um, but obviously if you've got friends in the UK, you may be able to get them to send you a set. I know John the Bibliophile Colourist have them and he likes them. Um, and I totally agree, they are very good. And the watercolours are very good as well, we've used those before. But that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this review video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like this kind of video? If you do, I can do it again. If not, I won't bother. We'll just stick to what we normally do. And um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're not already a subscriber. And of course, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a long and rambling video. And I will see you all soon. So bye guys.